A blessed day and welcome. This morning we will be meditating on Matthew chapter 15 and verse 21. Then Jesus left Galilee and went north to the region of Tyre and Sidon. Both Tyre and Sidon were Phoenician cities located on the coastal plain between the mountains of Lebanon and the Mediterranean Sea. And we see that Jesus moved to these cities to increase his ministry to Gentiles as he experienced increasing rejection from the Jews. The important lesson we learn today is that rejection of the Jews was meant for good. More and more Gentiles began to meet the Messiah in person and experience his divine power while hearing the gospel. Precious ones, no matter what the enemy does, he can't thwart the purposes of God. In fact, all things work together for good to them that love the Lord and are called according to his purpose. Do you remember the story of Joseph? Joseph was Jacob's favorite son. Finally, his brothers sold him and he entered Egypt as a slave. But all the training that he received throughout his lifetime prepared him to become the prime minister or rather the prince of Egypt. When his brothers returned and were looking for grain, they finally realized all that they had done to Joseph. And when they apologized, Joseph responded that what they purposed for evil had turned out to be for their own good. Because Joseph went into Egypt and because he was the Prime Minister, he was able to help his people for many years. Dear beloved saints of God, this morning the Lord is calling us to reach out to the lost instead of remaining in our comfort and familiar zone. Jesus declared in Matthew chapter 24, when the gospel is preached to all nations, the end will come. As Jesus' disciples, we are responsible to carry out the mission Jesus started. Let's seek the lost as Jesus saves them. Quoting Spurgeon, let us always plow to the very end of the field and serve our day and generation to the extreme limit of sphere. Whenever we feel cornered, let us turn to the Lord and ask Him for wisdom. Maybe He is preparing us for the next move. Let us humbly serve Him and humanity as long as we have life. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, help me to be a blessing to the lost and share the gospel today. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Shalom Maranatha.